In the previous video, we learned how to find a suitable universal section of cantilever beam to satisfy bending and shear. You can find the video in the description down below. Today we will carry out a deflection check using the same example. So, we will use the following formula to determine the deflection of a cantilever beam under uniformly distributed load. We have 350 kilonewton per meter imposed load, multiplied by the span length 1 meter to the power of 4. Divided by 8, divided by Young's modulus, which equals 210 kilonewton per square millimeter. We need to be careful with our units here, so we will convert 210 kilonewton per square millimeter to kilonewton per square meter which equals 210 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6. Next, divide by the second moment of area of the steel beam, which is equal to 87,400 centimeters to the fourth for 610 by 229 by 113 universal beam. Again, we need to convert the section moment of inertia to meters to the fourth, which would be 87,400 times 10 to the power of minus 8. This results in a value of 0 0.00024 meters, which is equivalent to 0.24 millimeters. For cantilevers the suggested vertical deflection limits on beam, due to imposed load based on clauses 2.23, and 2.24 of National Annex to Eurocode 3, is the length divided by 180. Therefore, the recommended limit would equal the span length 1000 mm, divided by 180. This gives us a value of 5.6 mm. As a result, deflection is no problem for this beam. Thanks for watching. We hope you found some useful tips. Check out our website at structuralengineercalcs.com. Please like and subscribe, and let us know what would you like to see next. The human footprint is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Stay safe. Goodbye, and see you soon.